All right, let's take a look at how you should be moving through the course. To get started working on your course activities, click on the Student Links drop-down and then select Course Work. This is going to take you to the content section of the course. Since we're just getting started, the only unit that we're able to see is the Unit 1 Working for Your Money. Go ahead and click on this tab. You'll see that there's only one component available for you to work on. After you complete the Activity 1 lesson successfully, you'll be able to see the next component that you should be working on at the top of the list. All the work that you've already completed will be bumped down one spot. To get started working on the next component that needs to be completed, all you need to do is click on the component at the top of the list. Make sure you read carefully through all of the instructions on each one of the pages. For this assignment, you're being asked to download the Career Comparison Worksheet, and then you're going to use the information that's available on this page to complete that worksheet. In order to move on to the next component of the course, you'll be asked to either complete a Check Your Understanding quiz based on the information that you just read, or the worksheet you just completed, or you'll be asked to hand in your work to a Dropbox or Assignment folder. In this case, you're being asked to complete a Check Your Understanding quiz based on the information that you've completed on the worksheet. Let's take a look. Make sure you have your worksheet handy. It's going to come in useful when trying to complete this quiz. To begin the quiz, click on the Start button down at the bottom of the page. And now, all you need to do is work your way through the quiz using the information from your completed worksheet. Once you finish the quiz, all you need to do is click the Submit button down at the bottom. Click Submit Quiz again. And once you've successfully completed the quiz, all you need to do is click the Done button at the bottom of the page, click on Student Links, and then Course Work. When you go back into the unit that you've been working on, You'll now see the next component that you should be working on at the top of the list. In this video we used a component that required us to complete a Check Your Understanding quiz before we could move on. You'll notice that we didn't have to go into Student Links and click on Quizzes to get to the quiz. Everything that you need to do can always be found at the bottom of the activity page you're working on. The next component requires students to hand in their work to a Dropbox and you'll see that the link to the Dropbox is at the bottom of the assignment page. Again, there's no need to go into the student links and click on drop boxes. So, whenever you complete a component or you're just starting to work on the course for the first time that day, all you need to do is click on the student links drop down, select course work, and the component that you need to be working on will always be the component at the top of the list.